Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a wedding video, finally. I've been wanting to start this wedding series on my channel for a really long time, but if you watched my previous video, then you'll know things have been a little bit crazy, but I'm finally getting around to doing it. So I think I'm gonna call this series Bride to Be. Uh, I have been doing a wedding series on my blog already, so every Wednesday I'm doing Wedding Wednesday on there. So if you want to follow all my planning escapades, then I'll leave my blog down below but I also want to do a video series as well so there'll be dedicated topics um, I'm planning one on budgeting uh, dress shopping just wedding planning tips all kinds of stuff so I'm really excited today's video is going to be a bit more general though it's just going to be about my wedding favorites so what I've really been loving if you have been keeping up with my blog then a lot of this you will probably have heard me talk about already um, so hopefully it won't be too boring if you have but I hope you guys enjoy this and I'm gonna get started so first up, I wanted to talk about the books that I've been loving. I've been going crazy trying to absorb as many wedding planning tips as possible. I am pretty familiar with event planning, so I wasn't concerned about kind of the basics of event planning, but a wedding is such a particular thing and it's so costly and there are so many different elements to consider that I wanted to try and get the advice of as many experts as possible. So my absolute favorite book to consult has been this, which is by uh, Mindy Weiss, or I don't know how you say it, I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um, but this is the wedding book and it's an expert's guide to planning your perfect day your way. And it is basically the wedding planning bible. It's incredibly hefty. It's basically a textbook. Um, I do have a couple of other books to show you, but those are definitely more coffee table books. Whereas this is just solid advice on every single topic you can possibly imagine. It is quite American central, but I have found it still very, very useful. And just, you know, anything that I'm unsure of in terms of etiquette or should I really be spending my money on that? I've consulted this and it's come in so handy. So I highly recommend it. Obviously I haven't read it all and I don't know if this is necessarily the kind of book that I would start, you know, right at the beginning and then go all the way through because I think it would take me so long, but I have been dipping in and out. So I've read the entire photography section because we're in the middle of trying to book our photographer at the moment. I've looked at budgeting, obviously, because that's something that's always on my mind and it's just incredibly useful. So I love this. I would highly recommend it if you are in the middle of wedding planning as well. Then I have two other books and the first one is Star Me Pretty Weddings. This was a recent purchase and I had already bought a couple of coffee table books and so I was a bit hesitant to get it because the flat is filling up with wedding books and wedding magazines so I wanted to try and limp myself if I could but I'm really glad I got this it's absolutely beautiful all of Star Me Pretty Weddings I mean if you're into wedding planning or weddings at all then you'll probably know the blog Star Me Pretty and this is just basically a collection of all their best and favorite weddings I guess but it really is beautiful serious eye candy and they do have good tips as well so it's not just a pretty book to look at it does provide some useful insight especially in terms of styling your wedding and things like that I'm not really fully into the details of the wedding yet we're still trying to nail down the big things like you know a venue um, but this has still been really useful because even really early on you need to start thinking about kind of what it's going to look like what colors and all that kind of stuff so this has been great and then the other book that I've really been loving is Martha Stewart Weddings I absolutely love Martha Stewart and I really love Martha Stewart Weddings so I knew I wanted to get this and the book does not disappoint it's very heavyweight so it's a chunky book and even though it looks very much like a coffee table book, which it is, you can still get some very, very good pieces of advice. I've also been relying on this one quite a lot. I actually bought this before the kind of first book I talked about, the, the wedding Bible as I call it, and this was still very useful. Now that I do have the other one, I'm like, okay, well this is definitely more on the pretty rather than useful side, but I still did get some really useful pieces of advice and definitely so much inspiration, just so unbelievably beautiful, so absolutely love this if you like Martha Stewart Weddings and you will really really like this book. And then on to some wedding beauty favourites. So the first one is a lipstick and this is what I've been pretty much wearing every single day and consequently I've also been wearing it to my bridal appointments and I've had so many compliments on this particular lipstick shade. I've had more than one person say to me you need to wear that shade on your wedding day because it just seems to go with a whole ton of wedding dresses. So it's a good lipstick shade. I liked it before. I like it even more now that it seems to be universally popular um, and it's in the colour Nude Beach and it's by Too Faced. It's absolutely 
absolutely beautiful. The consistency is really lovely as well. It goes on very smooth, it's very moisturizing, and it's just the prettiest nude color with just a hint of pink and rosiness. Very flattering, very good for trying on white dresses, and just very lovely in general. And then I have some nail polish colors as well. So I have four to share with you. The first one is what I'm wearing on my nails today. And this is a long time favorite. This is Essie in Topless and Barefoot. I've been wearing this for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. In my opinion, it is the perfect nude shade. And so this has been a regular for me in general, but especially since I've gone engaged when I've tended to stay more towards, you know, the neutrals and the pinks. So this is absolutely beautiful. On the slightly more pinkier sides as well, I do have this OPI color, which is actually what I wore in my engagement ring photo that I put on Instagram. And I got so many questions about the nail polish shade. It is Play the Peonies, but it's not readily available. So I wanted to go on a hunt for more readily available pretty pink shades. And that's how I found this Sally Hansen gel. And this is in Plush Blush, and it's a really pretty color. It's not exactly the same tone. It's a little bit more lilac, I think. It's all very much a pink shade, but with a little hint of purple, but it's very pretty. It has that pearl element, which I think is so pretty, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, I think. And then the last nail polish color is Minimalistic by Essie, and this is a really pretty white base pink, so I do need three coats with this to really get it opaque. Once I do have three coats, it lasts for a really long time, and the color is just gorgeous, so. I did do a blog post on these nail polish colors as well, though, so I will link that down below, but these are currently my favorites at the moment. Next up is my wedding planner, and I am going to wax lyrical about this thing. It is the Erin Condren planner, and I absolutely love it. You can personalize these, um, so I just have Amy and Dan tie the knot, and I also included one of our engagement photos on the back. And I can't even tell you how much I love this. I did actually get two planners when I first got engaged. Um, I got a Kate Spade one as well, and this is more of a folder, and I specifically wanted a folder type. It's just a big old binder, and I do have um, some kind of wedding things in here, and um, these are from bridal appointments but I haven't really used it since then. And I think I probably will use it a bit more when I have face-to-face -face vendor meetings, which will start from next week. But in this initial planning stage, I have been totally relying on this. And honestly, it's been so hectic. I've really, really relied on this to keep me organized and to know where I'm going and what I'm doing. And it's just fantastic. I love it. So on the week, Oh, on the monthly view even, you do have just this kind of very simple calendar view, which it just been so, so useful. I'll pick a month when I actually have stuff. Um, so this is June and it's pretty hectic. I have stuff almost every single week and it's just been so useful. You also have in the back actual wedding planning things. So you have a color section, you have a little timeline to help you. There's just so much and it's so useful. You also have a ton of space for notes, which I've been using for when I have vendor calls with photographers, videographers, that sort of thing. In the back, you have some stickers. And then right at the back, you also have a folder and also a little Ziploc thing as well. So great, I've been using this nonstop. I don't think a day goes by when I don't consult it. And so far, this has been the best money I've spent. I absolutely love it, I highly recommend it. I know Erin Condren planners are a huge thing on YouTube anyway. I've never personally gotten into them, but after trying this, it really makes me want to because this has just been such a game changer for me. So I would say if you're going through the whole wedding planning process as well, this is very worth getting. They're not the cheapest, I think this was about 60, 70 dollars, I'd say. I'll try and link everything below, um, but definitely well worth the money. I love the fact that you could personalize everything, you know. I just picked this very simple lace cover, but you could pick pretty much anything. You put your name on it, and it's just such a fun thing, and it's really helped me so much. And now for two blog favorites that I've been loving. As a bride bee, I've obviously been scouring the internet for inspiration, and obviously Pinterest has been my go-to, and then there are the really major wedding blogs like Star Me Pretty and Martha Stewart Weddings, but I've also been really loving two pretty well-known still wedding blogs but slightly lesser known than I guess Master at Weddings and um, the first one is Rock My Wedding which is so great if you live in the UK you'll probably have heard of it because it's a big UK based blog but it's really great for 
not necessarily alternative weddings but not necessarily cookie cutter weddings and I mentioned before that I really love seeing the detail in other people's weddings and the weddings featured on Rock My Wedding are full of little personal touches and it's always just really great to see how people put their own spin on the traditional wedding ceremony and reception so if you're not into the super traditional types of weddings then Rock My Wedding is definitely a good one to check out and the second one that I've really been loving is Grey Loves Weddings it's more in line with Martha Stewart and Star Me Pretty and those kind of blogs and websites and it does have a very similar aesthetic but it's really carefully curated and it's just a beautiful blog and I pretty much love every single thing I see on there so really both amazing blogs beautifully edited and curated and well worth checking out if you are also into wedding planning or just like seeing beautiful weddings in general. I also wanted to share the dress that I wore for my engagement party recently. I absolutely loved it. I got so many compliments on it. I think it's such a great find. It's from Ted Baker and it's the most beautiful dress. So you can't see it, but I will try and try it on. But it has a really massive skirt. So it flares out in the most beautiful way. It is A-line and it's just fitted on the top. And you do have these little cutouts here. So it makes it a little bit more modern and edgy, but it still feels very, very bridal. You could absolutely wear this as your wedding dress as well if you're having a more low-key wedding, if you wanted something three-quarter length. But it's also great for any number of bridal events. And obviously, if you just wanted to wear this any other time, you could as well. They have it in a few other colours. I wanted to go for white, and it does have these beautiful little um, gold... I think they're supposed to be flowers, but to me, they just look like little gold polka dots. But it's really subtle, very pretty. It fits really nicely. I just added my little Chanel brooch, and it was just a little bit of bling, and I thought it looked really nice, and I was so comfortable and happy in it all day. Really beautiful. I think it was £210, I want to say. Um, so, you know, it wasn't super cheap, but it also wasn't, like, crazy, crazy, crazy expensive. Um, and I loved it. It also has pockets as well. I'm always a fan of dresses with pockets. So an excellent find. I really loved wearing it. I think I'm probably going to reuse it definitely on this wedding journey in the next year or so. And then my very last favourite is our engagement cake that we had for our engagement party. It was actually a naked cake and we ended up making it ourselves and it turned out to be such a huge hit. I was so pleased with how it turned out. I say we. My mum did the vast majority of the work and I just did the really easy decorating bit but we had a bit of a disaster in getting it to the venue. It, there was definitely a leaning Tower of Pisa situation, um, but we did manage to rectify it and it didn't look too bad. It still looked kind of the way it was meant to, um, if a little bit messier than intended, but we were so, so pleased with it. It tasted great. I thought it looked amazing. And two weeks later, we're still getting comments on how good the cake was. So I do have a whole blog post on it. It's not necessarily a how-to because I basically just relied on other people's tutorials, so I kind of did the YouTube searches and showed my mum, but they were really helpful, so I'll leave that blog post down below if you want to check it out, but that has definitely spurred us on and made us more confident to actually attempt the wedding cake ourselves. That was never part of the plan, but that one went so well, and this time we'd actually be able to erect it at the venue, which was our problem last time, so I think if we're going to try it, I think we're going to have a few more trial runs um, before that, but fingers crossed um, we'll be able to do it because I love making cakes, my mum also enjoys it as well, so it's just a fun thing we can do together, but yeah, highly motivated and that was definitely a favourite. I think it was probably a highlight of the entire engagement party. And that's it for this video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will leave links to everything I mentioned down below, from the blogs to the items and blog posts and all that kind of stuff, um, and as I said, if you do have any requests for any wedding related videos, Videos, then leave them for me in the comment section below. I will hopefully be back with another wedding video I'd say in the next couple of weeks because we're heading to France next week. I'm going to hopefully vlog it because we're going venue hunting which is so exciting so leave them for me down below if you do have any other requests and ideas because I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!